everybody, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today um, I'm gonna show you guys some things that we unboxed. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a house tour. Um, I'm not gonna do the official house tour yet because we're actually still trying to um, kind of redo some things. Uh, but today I'm gonna show you some of the unboxing items that we got. Sorry, the light is like really bright. Uh, unboxing things that we got. I actually finished our welcome bags and um, I think really the unboxing items that we did uh, actually finished the kids' bathroom upstairs. So let me go ahead and turn this camera around so I can show you guys first the welcome bag. Okay, so this is actually one of them. The other two are all done up here, which is very nice. So when they arrive, uh, we will have this ready for, the, ready for them, and then they'll be able to take out the little tissue paper and whatnot. But for all intents and purposes, I'll go ahead and unpack this one uh, so that way you guys can see what I actually put in the welcome bag. Just to remind you, our, um, our gender and our ages are girls only, ages 4 to 12. So I tried to pick things that are pretty common with girls in that age range. Um, also remember, because I have tried to at least say this several times, a lot of children who are coming into foster care um, are emotionally delayed. Um, they don't usually act like their their traditional chronological age, or what would or what one person would expect from that age. So you may get a 12 year old girl, but she may be more in the mindset of a nine or 10 year old girl. So you want to try to kind of help give her some things uh, that kind of meets at certain stages. So. All right, so we'll just kind of pretend like we're the child coming in and we're opening up the gift. All right, so obviously we're gonna take out some of the tissue paper here. This is the book I was telling you guys about, and I actually know the author. She's actually a friend of mine. The author's name is Jamie Sandifer. It is illustrated by Pamela Goodman. This is a book, Love You From, right here, a keepsake book for children in foster care. I don't want to give too much away because I don't know if that's how, actually how she wants to do this, but when you open the book, there's a story that you're gonna follow that talks about a child coming into foster care, and this is the foster mom, and how when the, fo when the foster child is going through different emotions, different experiences, what the foster mom actually provides for the foster child. At the very end of the book is what, I'm, what I really love. And this is the keepsake part, so <laughs> sorry. Um, but you can actually post pictures and talk about dates that when they arrived or if they leave. Um, and then, you know, what they enjoy to eat, what places that they like to go, people and things that they love to see or do. Um, and just more details about their experience. So often children in foster care really don't have any uh, fond memories or clear memories of what happened when they were in that foster home. So if they're able to have a positive experience, you're able to kind of help fill in that part of their story so they'll never forget and they'll at least have a positive association of their past and you can post different pictures and whatnot. If they stay, this is also a really good little keepsake for them as they grow older so they can look back on it fondly and know that, you know, they at least have something captured in their past because a lot of these children unfortunately lose connections to their past. So this is a wonderful book. It's on Amazon. Um, I believe this particular book was $12.99, but it is well worth the buy. I cannot wait uh, to actually provide this for our kids. And um, she is actually gonna be publishing more books to come. So definitely follow her because lots more is coming. Okay, so of course they're gonna have that book. And then, um, in all of the bags over there, I really like to include just a regular kind of drawing notepad, notebook, little just things to write, draw, and whatnot. Um, and they're going to have just like different stickers if they want to put it in the books here. So there's like all different types of fun little stickers, some, some very basic, some more decorative and whatnot. A little box of crayons. Again, a lot of this I did not spend a lot of money on. Most, of, I mean, I, this was actually the highest priced item in the entire bag. Everything was like packs that I split up. Uh, this was like 47 cents at Walmart. This was like 99 cents. So I always keep things less than a dollar or two dollars. So that kind of helps you, you know, kind of put that in perspective. 
some cute little pens here again drawing coloring and whatnot their own pencil and that will go with their pencil sharpener they can have that oh this was fun scented play-doh isn't that the funniest thing i love it scented play-doh so they have their own little play-doh let's see they have their own stamp roller again that can go in there if they want to they can even decorate it in here if they'd like to but their own little stamp uh, roller oh this is fun I love I, I was so happy to find this kinetic sand so this is like kind of on the go kinetic sand which is great so they have that to play with here's their little pencil sharpener for their pencil that goes there and let's see if there's anything else okay and then this little mystery gift that I finally wrapped I'm actually going to provide a picture of the item that's in here at the end of the video. So stay tuned. <laughs> but these are the items inside our welcome bag. And so these are all the little things that will be for them that can kind of help with their creativity and just have a nice little outlet and help them feel a little bit welcomed. Okay, so hopefully you guys really enjoyed uh, what I put in the welcome bag. Again, if you are interested in fostering or fostering to adopt or just adopt only through your state, um, depending on your welcome or depending on your age range, let me say that, depending on the age range that you're licensing with, um, that's kind of what you want to gear your welcome bag to. I try to think of things that a lot of girls really love to do. We've had um, girls in our home from three to 10 years old. So we've had a three, four, seven, and 10 year old in our home, uh, all girls, and they all loved drawing. They loved coloring. They were, they just loved being creative. So because we're licensing for girls, these are things that I'm trying to really kind of hone in on. If you are a family that's uh, licensing for say babies, like infants to about five years old, then obviously you want to keep your welcome bags um, or you can even do a basket, be creative, be, you know, inventive with your way of presenting a little something. But the reason why I want to do a welcome bag for these kids is because they oftentimes, especially if they are coming from directly from the place they're being removed from, they lose pretty much everything that they had. Um, they're not able to bring a lot of toys or blankets or pillows or whatnot. So it's really hard for them to, you know, try to fathom what's theirs and what's not theirs when they walk into a stranger's home. So when you present them with a bag or a basket that of little things or big things, depending on however you want to do this, these are theirs. And that's what you want to help them understand is this is theirs and they can take it wherever they go and it will always be theirs. Um, and if you are licensing for multiple children, uh, because I will let you know when foster care siblings are a thing, um, you want to try to keep it as, as um, the same as possible so that there's not a lot of risk for jealousy or envy or whatnot. So, all right, I'm going to take you upstairs to the kid's bathroom so I can show you some new things that I've done there. Okay, so I have finally finished everything. Um, the caseworker that came and saw us liked that we had our little towels and everything out and ready to go. But here's what I added. So I'm gonna try to zoom out a little bit. So I ordered these on Amazon. These were, well, that actually was not, we had that left over. Um, I will try to get the links for you guys. <laughs> I'll actually have to do a little bit more editing than I expected, but I loved this deal. This was an amazing deal for double colors. So the best part is if they wanted to do pigtails or braids or whatnot, you have colors all the rainbow. <laughs> and funny enough, so this right here, this is just basic arts and craft ribbon. I'll let you see that. Um, since I do the Etsy uh, wreaths, I basically just cut that, cut a, cut a strip. Obviously put little thumbtacks here and just clip the clip the bows there. So let me see if I can kind of show you. Yeah, see, I just clipped it on there. So that way, whenever they're uh, you know using a bow, they can just put it right back. So whoops. <laughs> Hold on for a minute. There we go. All right, and I do have wet wipes ready to go because you never know when you need that. 
Um, I have some powder for just a little bit of irritation and itchiness, just in case. Some lotion for dry skin. Bath bombs are really popular with girls, and I'll uh, have a little label here that I'll go ahead and write on whenever um, we actually have a placement here. So this is something that I did the last placement, and so this next placement, I just went on ahead and duplicated it. Um, but I basically built my own caboodle, and I actually got this idea from my friend. Um, she did this for her uh, stepdaughter, so that's kind of how I got this idea. But this helps with having, oops, well, I'm used to using two hands. That's not good. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, and so this helps with having hair products ready to go. So we have headbands down here. We have extra little clips that are a little bit more bland in color. So that's kind of why I put them down here. Um, I have these clips here. And again, all of this was kind of like duplicated Amazon buy. And then when you open this, lots of little clippies, the teeny tiny rubber bands, and then the major different rubber bands. So. And that way we have um, all of the different hairstyles that we're able to help with or at least try to tame our hair and whatnot. I still need to get some uh, brushes and combs and whatnot, but I usually kind of hold off on that until I know who's coming into our home in the event that we were to get a mixed race uh, young girl. Her hair may be a little bit different and may require different types of brushes and combs and whatnot. Um, again, I've showed you guys this, so we have this ready to go. Over here is the next item that I actually uh, changed up. So here are the little mesh bags that I told you guys about. Obviously, we have that for, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. This is for my knees, so I'm going to put this down here. And see? Look at that. Oh, that feels so comfortable. And so while I'm sitting here getting everything ready and helping them and playing in the bathtub, my knees are not killing me. <laughs> um, but this has helped us organize. So we've got our finger paint so they can put that all over the wall and it will wash right off. I got crayons so they can draw all they want on there. Doesn't really matter because that's still going to come off. And then our toys, which I'm so excited about. They're so cute. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? And of course, it squirts water. It's so cute. And our letters. So, no one get wet, get that wet and all that. I will need to get some more of those little spoof, poofs. Poofs, is that what we call it? <laughs> I do need to get some more of that. But that is really the biggest thing that I was able to do for our bathroom. So our bathroom is now 100% complete, which I'm very, very, very happy about. Oh, it's so nice to have this done. Okay, so basically that is the major thing that I really wanted to show you guys from the last unboxing that we have. Um, the Let's see, the major house tour, I'm gonna actually provide for you guys in the upcoming week because I wanna try to get some things kind of put away and organized a little bit better uh, to really kind of show you everything and how we've pulled it all together. Uh, Cause I know you guys have kind of seen bits and pieces along the way. Um, but I really wanted to show you guys the last unboxing and I really wanted to show you guys the welcome bags because finally have that done, <laughs> which I'm very relieved about. Um, but I hope this was helpful for you guys today and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, as always, please reach out to me uh, via comment down below. Fortunately, our comments have not been shut off um, by YouTube, which I'm glad. <laughs> um, or you can email us because we're always, uh, my husband and I are always eager to answer lots of questions for people regarding foster care and adoption. All right, guys, thank you so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye!